Hey, what's up, guys? I finally got everything in for Black Friday. It took about a week, week and a half-ish, I guess, to get everything in. But I finally am able to make this video. I was waiting on uh, two specific things that finally came in yesterday. Today's Saturday, by the way. It's Saturday the 7th. Um, so you'll probably see this on Monday or Tuesday whenever I put this up. But anyway, um, it took a little longer than I expected. But, you know, it's Black Friday. That shit takes a while. I did everything online this year. I actually, this is the first year that I've been collecting movies and stuff. Um, that I did not stop once into a store. I didn't go to Best Buy. I didn't go to Walmart, Target, um, GameStop, nothing like that. And every year, I'd always, at the very, even if I bought everything online, I would always stop in at some point and get something. Or just, you know, uh, pick through stuff. I've actually not actually gone to Best Buy once or twice in the past and not got anything. But this year, I basically got everything I intended to get. And I just decided to stay home. I had Thanksgiving and stuff. I enjoyed the weekend. And... I actually enjoyed that, not getting out and stuff. It was because it was snowing here in Minnesota, too, so it was kind of snowy and uh, shitty out, so I was kind of happy not to go out. It was great. The only thing is, of course, I had to wait a little longer than most people to uh, get their stuff in the mail, but finally here, I got everything, and there's actually two piles here. One, this side here on the right, this is Black Friday from top to bottom. This is what I got in the month of November, so I'm going to kind of combine the videos here. This is a, both a Black Friday and a, like, end of November all, I guess. So this technically is all end of November. Tech I, I bought all of this in November. And uh, so I guess it actually does rival what I bought in October, which I thought was one of the most expensive months I've had in, in years. But um, I guess technically a lot of this stuff was less than 10 bucks each. In fact, most of it, almost everything in here was. So anyway, besides blathering on some more, how about I get on to the uh, things I bought? So actually, maybe I'll do this first. I'll do this stack first. This is what I got for the month before Black Friday. Uh, and then this, I'll do this after. So I'll do this kind of quickly since a lot of people already talked about this stuff in other videos. Um, this was the beginning of the month. I got the steel book for Scary Stories Tell in the Dark. Um, I haven't seen it yet. That's the Blu-ray and that's the uh, 4K back there. Um, there's a spider on the back, which is kind of neat. It's, otherwise, it's kind of dark. I mean, blank. I haven't seen it yet. I've heard it's pretty good, you know, considering what it is. It's a PG-13 horror movie. Um, yeah, otherwise, I don't have anything else to say about it, I guess. Is this Sony? No, it's Science Kid. I just saw. Um, so yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say. I've heard good things. I plan on watching it at some point. And that's basically it. And then... Oh yeah, the, again, at the very beginning of the month, I actually partook in the Criterion sale. This is the only stuff I bought from that sale. I bought Bull Durham, which I've never seen. And I've heard multiple people say it's one of the best baseball films. Um, but you can see, I've only seen... Well, I'm sure I've seen lots of baseball films. 61. Look at their own... Field of Dreams, all kinds of... There's, uh, there's a lot of games, a lot of baseball movies out there, but um, not looks like a baseball. <laughs> uh, Bull Durham, which is Kevin Costner, I believe. Right? Yeah, there he is. From 1988. Uh, I don't know much about it besides it's a baseball film. So yeah, looked pretty good. It was 20 bucks. All these were 20 bucks. Actually, all of them except this one, Jackie Chan's uh, Police Story 1 and 2. I've seen none of these films. I saw the Super Cop and um, whatever the one was in the 90s. I forget. But uh, I've seen his other films. These are from the 80s, I believe. Is that right? 85 and 88, yeah. So they're apparently good, good enough to be on Criterion, but like I said, I haven't seen them, so I can't, you know, talk about them. Lots of people have made unboxing of this, so I'm not going to, like, unbox it or anything. But um, you can pause if you want to read about it. There's a lot of features on here. Um, again, I've heard good things about it, but I, I can't attest to it. Friends of Eddie Coyle. This is actually an upgrade. I had the DVD of this for the longest time. This is a really good movie. This is one of my favorite performances from Robert Meacham. Um, from 1973, he plays like a old, uh, aging con man, or like, uh, I guess, what do you call it? Like, crook type person. He's going to do a score with someone else, and it gets pretty interesting. A lot of cool actors in here, younger actors. Uh, there's a heist involved. It's pretty good. This actually has a gigantic booklet in it. You can tell this is this was, um, released, or this was an upgrade, because I, I believe the DVD also had a big booklet, but look how big this is. That's what she said. And there he is there. Or reaching. Pretty big. Most of the, as you just saw from um, Bull Durham, most criterions these days just have pamphlets, which, you know, it's fine, but there's actually weight to this, which I thought was pretty cool. And if you want to, you can pause that, too. 
but uh, I haven't seen it in a couple years, but I remember it being really good. And I think that's pronounced Mitwan or Mitwan. It's a John Sayles film from 1987. It's about a coal, uh, like a mining thing, coal town, or, uh, yeah, union stuff. And stars somebody there. Um, yeah, James Earl Jones in it, David Strathairn, Mary McDowell, Mary McDonald, excuse me. Yeah, Chris Cooper is in it, that's right. I'd, I'd never seen Chris Cooper that young before, so I thought it'd be really cool to see this. And I thought the, the story sounded good, interesting to me. And again, you can see this is just a pamphlet, which is typical. And like I said, that's not a huge, big, it's not a big deal, but uh, it's nice when they go all out with the, with the booklets and stuff. But um, again, I haven't seen this, so I can't talk about it that much. But I got this too, also 20 bucks. And that's all I got from Criterion for the month of November because um, during their sale, because obviously I was spending a lot more money on other stuff. So I also got the Ringu collection, the set that I, um, I got at the end of, wait, no, beginning of? month i forget now in the middle of the month i didn't i don't remember now um i remember in that video i said i wanted to get it because it was going to go on it was like going to go out of print or something like that and then literally a week or so after i bought this it was 20 bucks cheaper so don't listen to me about this shit you can never fucking tell you try to get ahead of it and it's just you know it doesn't matter i so i, I honestly i regret buying it when i did because i could have saved 20 bucks but or maybe it was 15 bucks i don't know it was more it was less money than i bought it for so you just can't fucking tell. I, I remember I waited on multiple sets and fuck, I lost out on them or I had to spend full price for them. And then the ones I thought the same thing, oh, I'll try to get ahead of it, they end up being cheaper. So, you know, you just can't win. But anyway, that's Ringo set. I did watch the first film. I liked it. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, very reminiscent of the American version of The Ring, obviously, but uh, very good, I thought. And then Ring 2, Ringo 2 and Ringo 0 I have not seen yet, so I'll check those out. Um, Probably not for a while. I'm pretty horror movied out. Um, even though I actually have only watched a couple horror movies recently. So anyway, that's what I got for that. Um, and then I got three things from... Where did I get these? I think I got these from Barnes & Noble. Also during their... The, the, the Barnes & Noble has their sales at the same time that they're doing the Barnes & Noble... The um, Criterion sale. They had an Aero Video sale. So I took part... Excuse me. I took um, advantage of that. I got three things. Um, cheaper ones that I've been wanting to get for a while, but I just didn't want to, you know, buy the time. Uh, I got the Dead Center, which I actually have watched. Uh, I watched this a couple weeks ago, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Very interesting. Kind of a, what would you call it? Almost a satanic thing, but not exactly. Uh, it involves, like, kind of possession, sort of. I don't, I don't want to get into it, but it's it's very interesting, I thought. Definitely done on a shoestring budget, but considering it was, it was very well done, I thought. Starring, um... Yeah, the guy who created uh, Primer and Upstream Color. I haven't seen either of these films, but I've heard that one's good, and I've heard that one's all right, but I don't know. He did fine, I thought. Um, and you can pause that again if you want. This is a recent film, actually, from 2019. So, And there's the alternate artwork, too, if you want to look at that. Cool. The Crazies, George A. Romero. I haven't seen this version. I've seen the, the remake version. But I figured what the hell. This was like 16 bucks or something like that with the sale. So I figured what the hell. It came with... I don't think it came with a book. But it came with like stuff. But this is actually part of a three three movie set from um, uh, George A. Romero's set. But so there's not going to be a booklet in here. But yeah, still. Cool stuff. I'm taking way too long. So I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit here. There's the ghoul. Know nothing about it. But the sound of the premise sounded good. Let me pause that. It's from Ben Wheatley who did Kill List, and I thought that was pretty good. This is from 2000 and something? 2004? Wait, no. 16. Yeah. And then I got Big Trouble Little China, which I did make. Excuse me. I made a video about that in my unboxing. I got the record set and stuff, too. So I watched the film uh, just a couple days ago, actually. And I got to say, it's been a while since I watched it, and it's a fucking weird, goofy film. <laughs> It is not my favorite John Carpenter film, but it's definitely an interesting film. And uh, Kurt Russell is fucking over the top as Jack Burton. It's a really, a, it's a fun film, but it's not. It's a, it's a weird film. I, I, I forgot how weird it was. I also got Road Games. There's the alternate artwork there. Um, I have not seen this either, but I and actually I, I remember when this was released or when they released the cover. I remember not liking this cover art at all. I thought this looked shitty, and her face there looked I don't know. 
I did not care for it, but then I kind of caved after reading more about the, the film and stuff, and I thought, fuck it, I'll just do them. I'm trying to collect a lot of the Screen Factory ones if they're, I'm not even remotely interested in them, and this one's not interesting, so. Why not, right? And then finally, I also, did I make a video about this? I don't think I did, actually. I was going to, but then I just, I fucking didn't, because I didn't feel like it, so. Um, and again, you can see unboxing of this if you want to, so. Robocop, hard box. They made a steel book too that you could get in stores like Best Buy and stuff, but I wanted the hard box. The uh, Omni Consumer Products. That's the logo. This is a good film. I have not watched this transfer yet, so I have no idea how it is, but it comes with a giant booklet, and um, I'll show you the alternate artwork, I guess. That's the, I think that's the cover of the uh, steel book. And it's a two disc set? Yeah, it's two disc set, even though it looks like it's got three discs, but it's just two. There's a sticker there that says Protected by Robocop. Very cool film. I haven't seen this for a while either, actually, but um, I like that film. Okay. In fact, why don't I do this? I'll take some stuff down here. So it's a little bit more doable. And I'll just start left to right here. I'll do the, the two games I got, the Blu-rays, and the 4Ks I got. So this is all Black Friday stuff that I took part in most. Actually, I'd say half and half Best Buy and Amazon, I think. Yeah. I got Anthem um, for some fucking reason. Actually, I know exactly why. It was $5, so. I actually, I'm, I'm considering just selling it online for like 7 or $8 because I, it's this is like online only. It says here, it says persistent internet connection and PlayStation Plus required to play. And I don't have PS, PS Plus, so I don't know. I, I thought there was a story mode on here. And I don't know. Bioware has disappointed me a lot recently and this game is apparently a gigantic disappointment so I don't know. I've heard it's getting better with patches and stuff but I, I'll probably just resell it. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I've heard this is really hard actually. There's three games in here. It's got um, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Crash Bandicoot 2, and then Crash Bandicoot Warped. And I mainly got this because my wife liked the first game and uh, I thought what the fuck she doesn't get to play a lot of games so I got this for us. This is $15 I believe. Uh, I got this from Amazon, and I got Anthem from Amazon, too. I believe they're matching GameStop. I think GameStop had this in store for 5 bucks, and I'm, it wouldn't surprise me if other places did, too. I don't, I don't know how much it was at Games, uh, Best Buy. I think it was around 10 which, you know, I wouldn't have bought it then. I, I generally just bought this because it's 5 bucks. and I thought, what the fuck. This is 15 bucks though, and I thought that's a pretty good price for three film, three, excuse me, three movies. God damn it. Three games. Excuse me. Original three games remastered. I played the first game back in the day on the original PS... PS excuse me. PlayStation 1. I'm going to say PSP, but that's not right. I haven't played the other two, but... Uh, looking forward to playing this with my wife. I actually have... Uh, the disc's already in there right now. Already downloaded. Um, I got this because... I actually don't know why I got this. I think I have all these films already. Um, I kind of want... I got them for the digital. I was curious if the digital still worked. This was $12, I believe on Amazon, and I was genuinely surprised this came with a slipcover, but then when I took the slipcover off, it looked like this. Really warped. And the digital copies did work. I was surprised. This was supposed to have expired like in 20, what, 14? Yeah. Maybe 16. But they worked, so I got those, and I got these discs here, and, and I got a shitty case. But, you know, I also have a slipcover too, so it's not a big deal. Um... Uh, I liked the first film. I saw it in theater a couple times when I was a kid, when I was 17, when it came out. Um, it's a dumb film, but, you know, whatever. And then the second one was bad. The whatever, the Chronicles of Riddick, it was bad. And the third one was not bad at all. I thought it was okay. And I hear they're making more. So I, I bought it. I don't know. <laughs> I got the Upside, um, mainly because it was 7 or 8 bucks, and I wanted the digital copy, but then I realized it's just iTunes only. So there's that. But I have the movie now, so I've heard it's all right. It's based on a well, based on a true story, but also making. Uh, it was a remake from my French film called The Intouchables, I believe. It's about a quadriplegic thing, you know. I don't. It's got Brian Cranston and uh, Kevin Hart in it, so I figured, what the hell? I bought this because you know I got all the other ones, so I figured I'll buy this for cheap. And again, it came with a slipcover, and I was surprised. But uh, this was eight dollars, I think, and. Um, this is the first time, too, this year that I, I think I kept every code. 
I've used all of them. It's because I was just planning on, like, I figured if I bought a coat online, it would have cost a couple bucks, and if I don't like the film, I'll just sell this for a few more dollars and I'll make my money back, so why not? I haven't seen this. I, it's apparently bad. It's the last X-Men that Fox produced, and thankfully at this point, because I've been, Apocalypse was not great. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was bad. I don't, I don't remember anything about it. And then the one before that was Days of Future Past, right? That was pretty good. But, you know, it, it Fox, you know, it, it, I don't know. Disney has everything now, so. I, I mean, even if it's a conglomerate, I hope they do do, do a good job. I don't, I don't know. I'm rambling now. I've heard bad things, but I got it for eight bucks. Booksmart. I told myself I wasn't going to buy this because it's on Hulu right now, but then I ended up buying it even though it's on Hulu. So, and here it is. So, I don't know. It was... Uh, Nine or ten bucks, I think. I haven't seen it again. I have the slipcover. That was pretty cool. And I have the digital copy that I already used. Again, if for some fucking reason I don't like it, I can just sell it. Like, that's what I tell myself anyway. I got... Actually, these go together, I suppose. I got A Dog's Journey. And then I got A Dog's Way Home. And I have A Dog's Purpose somewhere else. I got a couple years ago. I like dogs. My life, my we and my wife already watched this one, fucking you know, tearing up the whole fucking time. Um, they're really, 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 you know, tug at your heartstrings, manipulative, but you know, it's it, it works. So whatever. I haven't seen this one yet, although this one's actually a continuation of that other one. This one I don't think actually had affiliation, but you know, bought these two. These are about eight bucks each, and I've used the codes. And then the last um, regular Blu-ray I bought was Missing Link because I I like I like Leica. I think it's pronounced Leica. They made um, Coraline and the... Oh, what the fuck that movie called? The Two Strings or the Two... Shit, what's it called? Kubo and the Two Strings. And something else. Oh, a Paranorman, is that them too? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. But this looks pretty neat. Um, it's got Hugh Jackman, Zoe Saldana, and Zach Galifianakis in it. I've heard it's good. A friend of mine already watched it and said it was good. Um, this was... I think it was eight bucks. I got this from Amazon. And you can see the stupid, there's a big divot in it. It's actually on the case, too, which is bullshit. And the back is fucked up. So, you know, I got a slip cover, but, you know, it's fucked up. But I'll check that out at some point. But that was annoying to me seeing that, because, you know. Anyway. And then finally, I started, get, I got a bunch of 4Ks, because, I'm you know, I'm just starting to collect as many as I can now that I'm remotely interested in. I mean, actually, all of these two, I think, except for maybe, actually, except for maybe this one, were 10 bucks or less. Is that right? Oh, excuse me. I think so, yeah. So anyway, I got yesterday on 4K. I almost bought uh, this for the regular Blu-ray, which was 8 or 9 bucks, but then this was like 12 And I thought, well, I'd, probably, I'd rather just have that one. I like the the cases on these better. I don't know what the difference is. It's not really a difference, but for whatever reason, I like the black. They know how to get me with these fucking slip covers. So I got this, It was I think it was 12 dollars, I got this from Best Buy, I think it was also 12 or 13 bucks on Amazon too, but I got it from Best Buy, and it came with a slip cover, which was awesome, and I haven't seen it yet, I've heard it's pretty good, it's a Danny Boyle film about a guy who lives in a world that doesn't, I forgot about the Beatles or something, I think it says right there, and Ed Sheeran is in it, which, you know, I don't know if that does anything for you, but yeah, I got that, I haven't seen it, heard good things. I also got Robin Hood, which I've heard almost nothing but bad things about this. But again, I figured, you know, I don't know. Um, this was eight dollars, and I thought eight bucks for a uh, for a four K, you know, I'll give it a shot. It'll probably look good. Jimmy Fox is Friar Tuck, I think. Not Friar Tuck, Little John. Is that right? I don't know. Taron Egerton's in it, and uh, I don't mind him. He's all right. And Ben Mendelsohn is in it, and he's. I'm assuming he's the sheriff of Nottingham because he's always a bad guy. Otherwise, I don't know anything else about it. It's you know, I know this is. I keep thinking this is a Guy Ritchie film, but I, I think I'm confusing this and um, that King Arthur one he did a few years ago with uh, Charlie Hunnam. And it's I don't think he directed this one, right? No, someone someone named Otto Bathurst did this one, and I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's apparently garbage. But I bought her anyway because it's Black Friday. Hostiles. Now, this movie is not garbage, and it was also 8 bucks, so I was figured that was definitely worth buying. Um, I wanted this because I wanted the code, too. So I have that, and I have the you know, 4K of this. This was 8 bucks. I think I said that already. Uh, Christian Bale, Rosamund Pike, and West Studi. 
Um, I liked it a lot, actually. I saw this um, um, actually maybe about a year ago. I'm not sure now. They could sell years so old. But I enjoyed it. Recommend it. And I thought for eight bucks, it's a good deal. I got Anna. This was also around eight or nine dollars. I think this was eight, seven, nine, uh, seven, nine, nine. I think. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone else who bought it? And of course, this did not come with a slipcover. So I'm gonna have to try to find one. I know this was like a thing when this first came out that finding slipcovers for this were was difficult for some fucking reason. I don't know why the hell that happens. I think it's on purpose. I swear to God. But uh, this is apparently an okay like spy action thriller thriller type thing. But I don't know. It was also eight bucks. So. I thought, why the hell not? And these two I got just kind of actually on Black... Maybe that's why this took so long. I just remembered now. It took longer because I got these on like Cyber Monday. These were uh, $10.99 each. And I thought, well, I don't think I even own this one. I like just regularly. So I figured that was an easy buy. And this I own the, the Sapphire series that they had that I'll just sell online for probably around 8 or $9. So I'll make most of my money back. And I figured, why not? I haven't seen Braveheart in years and years. So seeing it on 4K would be great. And getting it for, you know, $11 is pretty cool. So yeah, that took a few days to get, so maybe that's why it took a little longer. Hunter Killer, same reason I bought, uh, like, Robin Hood. I just, I just, it was 8 bucks, and I like Gary Oldman. It's about, uh, and Commons in it, too. I think it's... It's, it, the world's going to end, I'm sure. That's what the whole story is. So they have to, and Gerald Bernard Bart was going to have to save them. I got nothing else to say. There's the synopsis if you want to read it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It was eight bucks. This, actually, I got this from uh, Warner Brothers just a week or so ago, less than that. And I finally got a chance to watch it. I did not get a chance to see this in the theater. Was disappointing because I really liked the first one, but this was a little longer. This is actually almost three hours long, I think. Yeah. And I sat down to watch it finally, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. It was not as good as the first one, in my opinion. I guess in most people's opinion. But it was getting a lot of hate online, and I thought, I, I, didn't, I guess I didn't get it so much. Like, I thought it was pretty good, you know. I like the case. I like the cover here. I don't like the, the case because it's kind of... It's doubled up on discs, and I really hate when they do that, but, you know, what are you going to do, I guess? But I thought that was pretty good. This comes out this week, actually. Wait. Yeah, whenever you're seeing this, it's probably already out. And then the last 4K I bought, this, I, th I think I got this from Amazon. This was, actually, maybe this was one of the ones that was 12 bucks. This is 12 bucks, 12 99 or something. And I remember I rented this on Vudu, like, in May or something. And I thought it was pretty good. I could see why people didn't like it as much. Um, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good story. Interesting. And I thought, you know, for 12 bucks I'll get it. And again, I wanted the code. I'm really starting to get into keeping uh, my Voodoo codes or my, my whatever codes. I used to sell them or trade them. Um, if I get movies that I already own, I'll trade them. But uh, I'm kind of getting more into keeping them because it's getting harder and harder to find space. And I'm just getting to the point where... Um, if I can get this in UHD, you know, online, I might be able to sell this later and just save some space. So I'm starting to think about the future, about space and whatnot. I don't have a giant house. I'm hoping to have a bigger house at some point. Um, but I can't just keep buying movies, you know, and just shoving them on shelves. I mean, I've seen people who have uh, even smaller spaces than I do and um, running out of space. So I'm just trying to think about that for the future. Um, that's basically it. So anyway, that... For 24 goddamn minutes I've been talking. Um, that's my entire month of November slash uh, Black Friday haul. So, yeah, that's a lot of crap. Um, December is looking a bit smaller. Actually, there's more over here, too. Here, there's more. There you go. And there's this. <laughs> and then this. So, yeah, that's what I got in the month of November. Because, again, I'm just talking about space, you know, I'm running out of fucking space. So, um, I told myself, I tell myself every year, you know, it's December now, it's December 7th, it's going to be December 9th or so by the time you watch this. Every year I think I'm going to buy less, I'm going to buy less, and I do to an extent, but then I'll end up buying more and more during this period of time. Um, I sell shit on eBay, or I sell the shit wherever I can, but, you know, eventually I'm going to run out of space like usual, so I got to start thinking about what I want, so 
that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm trying to keep more codes because if I need to, I can sell this shit and I'll still have the movie, hopefully, you know. Now I talk, we talk about online, physical media versus digital. It's, you know, I, I much, much prefer to have something in my hands because I don't have to rely on internet streaming or downloads or anything like that or, you know, quality. You know, I, if I have the disc, I know the quality is going to be good, you know. If I have a stream, like a Netflix or Voodoo or whatever, I, I'm just, I'm going by my internet quality and sometimes that lags. And it's not as cool. And that's pissed me off in the past. But, you know, I'm trying, I feel like I'm ranting now and I probably shouldn't get into that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I have one more thing from Screen Factory I'll probably upload in the next day or two. And then, probably nothing, honestly, until... Uh, well, actually, that's not true. Never mind, I spoke too soon. There's one more thing that's coming out next week, or this week, that I'll upload. Which is a big thing, and I actually had to decide between this or Game of Thrones. And with the way Game of Thrones ended, it was pretty easy, and it's cheaper than Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is 199 bucks, I think, and plus tax, of course. And this was 130 which was cheaper, and uh, I wanted it more. So there'll be an unboxing of that this week at some point after this. And um, it'll be pretty cool, I think. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you again in just a few days, or, you know, maybe right after this, I guess, depending on when you watch this. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Uh, a couple more things and by the end of the year too so thanks for watching i'll see you again later bye